Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How Tos with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove your Facebook page from the Meta Business Suite business account. From your Facebook business page, the first thing you want to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that your page is actually in Meta Business Suite. And you will know that by looking over to the left and you will see Meta Business Suite. If you do not see it, your page is somewhere else. So with that, I mean there, is, there are different types of Facebook pages. And if you want to learn more about that, I have a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel in reference to that. So there's a classic page, there's new page experience, but I do believe that most pages are in Meta Business Suite now. However, I do have a few client pages that are not in Meta Business Suite yet. So let's get started. Over on the left, go ahead and click on Meta Business Suite. Now in typical Facebook style, you may get a box that pops up asking you to confirm that people who manage this page can also manage your Instagram. For now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the X. Next, over on the left, what you want to do is make sure that you are on the correct page. If you get to Meta Business Suite and see that you're on a page that you don't want to be on, just go ahead and click on the drop down arrow to the right of the page that is visible. Now, because I'm on the page that I want to be on, I'm going to go ahead and click on settings at the bottom left corner. This will bring you into your Meta Business Suite settings. Next, go ahead and click on Business Assets. Under Business Assets, you'll want to go ahead and click on Pages. Next, click on the page that you want to remove from Meta Business Suite. Over on the right, you'll see your page listed with a summary, page access, and connected assets. Now, to the right of the connected assets button, go ahead and click on the three dots. You may or may not see that button, by the way. If you don't see the button, just click on the three dots. Next, go ahead and click on Remove from Business Account. If you get this message that I just got, can't remove page, if you have your Instagram account connected, go ahead and remove your Instagram account. If you need help doing so, I will link how to remove your Instagram account from your Facebook page in the comments. Okay, I hope that you found success in removing your Instagram account if you needed to. Now that we've done that, or if you didn't need to do that, let's go ahead and click on the three dots again and click on remove from business account. You will get a message, do not fear. It says remove page. If you remove the page, it will no longer be part of the business account. And that's our goal. People who currently manage the page will still have access upon removal. So let's go ahead and click remove page. Then you'll get a message that says add business assets to your business account. It'll ask you, it says it's recommended that you add a Facebook page to your business account. And then it will also ask you to add an Instagram profile and an ad account. So we're not going to do any of that. One last thing I almost forgot to tell you. Go back to your Facebook page to make sure that page is still available and removed from the business account. So as you can see, when I go back to Facebook, my page is still there. But let's see if it's been removed from the Meta Business Suite business account. From your page, go ahead and click on Professional Dashboard. Scroll down to Page Access. Click on Page Access. And you will see that your page has been removed from Business Manager. So one of the things you may have noticed when we first started was that my personal page was not listed as a Facebook admin or Facebook page manager. Once I released my page from the Meta Business Suite business account, it now has me listed as an admin or page manager. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Once again, this is Ramona from Social Media How To's with Ramona. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.